Hi everyone, welcome to our video. In this session, we will be discussing about the seven common mistakes which we need to avoid during SDA space, especially if you are working in a molecular biology, biotechnology or biochemistry lab. So let's get started. One of the most common mistake is overloading the gel with too much sample. This can lead to distorted bands and inaccurate results. Ensure you load an appropriate amount for optimal separation. The second mistake is using improper running buffer. Using the wrong running buffer can affect the separation and migration of the protein. Make sure to prepare the correct running buffer as per the protocol to ensure accurate result. The mistake number three is insufficient staining time. Giving the gel insufficient staining time can result in faint or unclear protein band. Follow the recommended staining time to ensure proper visualization of your protein sample. The mistake number fourth is rough handling during the transfer. When transferring protein from gel to the membrane, rough handling can cause smearing or loss of the protein. So be gentle and cautious during the transfer process to maintain the integrity of your protein samples. The next one in the list is incorrect membrane placement. Incorrect placement of your membrane during transfer can result in the incomplete or uneven transfer of protein. Ensure the proper alignment between the gel and the membrane for accurate protein transfer. The next mistake is incorrect voltage or run time. Using incorrect voltage or running the gel for inadequate time can affect the resolution and separation of protein. Refer to the recommended voltage and run time for the optimal result. And lastly, the mistake number seven is neglecting the proper documentation. Always record all the necessary information about the gel, its percentage, including the sample name and molecular weight marker. And there you have it. By avoiding these seven common mistakes, you will achieve more accurate and reliable result in your SDS page experiment. Stay tuned for more scientific tips and tricks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. Thank you.